This is the NVIDIA Quadro 600 and we're going to overclock and benchmark it. Now, before we jump into all the exciting benchmarks, let's take a look at this mid-range business focused graphics card and see what we're dealing with. The Quadro 600 is a professional graphics card that was first released in late 2010. It's based on the GF108 graphics processor, has 96 CUDA cores, and supports DirectX 11. The card runs at 640MHz core clock and 800MHz memory clock. The card is low profile and features a single cooling fan. The Quadro 600 comes with 1GB of DDR3 memory and uses up to 40 watts of power. So let's get ready to overclock and benchmark this legacy card and see what kind of numbers we can push out of it. The first thing we did was update the drivers. Version 377.83 are the newest ones NVIDIA offers for this card, so we installed those. I'll put a link to them in the description. The overclocking utility we used is MSI Afterburner version 4.6.5. If you don't know MSI Afterburner, it's a totally free tool. I'll put a link in the description. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the basics of overclocking and how to obtain a stable overclock for your graphics card, I'm gonna put a link to a video in the description that will take you through step-by-step -step everything you need to know. The program we used to test the overclock for stability and performance was Unigen Superposition version 1.1. It's also a free tool, link in the description. Now I'm going to put a list of known successful Quadro 600 overclock values on the screen. Every card is different, but this should give you a good starting point for finding potential overclock values that may work for you. So how did our test card do with overclocking? Well, after a number of tests, this particular card was able to reach a solid overclock of 820 MHz core clock and 900 MHz memory clock. This seems pretty good and fits solidly within the range of the other example overclocks for this card. Now let's run through a set of 10 different benchmarks to see how well the Quadro 600 performed. First up, it's Unigen Superposition Benchmark Tool. Running at the 720p low preset, base results achieved a score of 1311. After overclock, the score increased to 1639. That's an increase of 25%. So things are looking good so far. Let's see how the other benchmarks did. Next up, it's Bioshock Infinite Benchmark. Running at 720p in the very low preset, initial average FPS came in at 55.5. After overclock, average FPS increased to 68.3. That's an increase of 23.1%. So another great boost to performance for this title. Next up, we've got Just Cause 2 Benchmark. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, initial average FPS came in at 71.7. After overclock, average FPS increased to 89.2. That's an increase of 24.4%. So another impressive overclock result to be had here. Next up, it's CSGO Benchmark Map. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, base FPS came in at 73.5. After overclock, FPS increased to 93.3. That's an increase of 26.9%. Yet again, some excellent overclock results for CSGO. Next, it's Spaceship Visual Effect Graph Demo. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, initial average FPS came in at 12.4. After overclock, FPS increased to 15.0. That's an increase of 21%. So it's another great overclock result for this test. Next up, we've got Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker Benchmark. Running at 720p in the standard preset, base results achieved a score of 3775 or slightly low rating. After overclock, the score increased to 4616 or standard rating. That's an increase of 22.3%. So it's a noticeable improvement for this title for sure. Next up, it's Grand Theft Auto V Benchmark. Running at 1080p, 50% resolution scaling, and everything turned down as low as it would go, initial average FPS came in at 57.8. After overclock, average FPS increased to 70.5. That's an increase of 22%. So it's a nice boost to GTA 5 performance to be had here. Next up, it's Mafia 2 Definitive Edition Benchmark. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, base FPS came in at 14.1. After overclock, FPS increased to 17.8. That's an increase of 26.2%. So another impressive, though not quite playable result to be had here. Next up, it's Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition Benchmark. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, initial average FPS came in at 28.4. 
after overclock, average FPS increased to 35.2. That's an increase of 23.9%. Another great boost to performance for sleeping dogs. Next up, we've got Borderlands 3 Benchmark. Running at 1080p, 50% resolution scaling, and very low settings, initial average FPS came in at 15.5. After overclock, average FPS increased to 18.9. That's an increase of 21.9%. An excellent improvement for sure, but perhaps still a bit low for a smooth experience here. So there you have it, the NVIDIA Quadro 600. Certainly a card well past its prime, but a solid overclocker and able to deliver at least minimal 720p performance. Please feel free to leave a comment and thanks so much for watching.